going to grow up and work in a bank. And he's like, get fucked. I will not. That's all right. And then he flew away or whatever. Stop texting Wait, me and like, sorry. Um, what? Is this a situation where you actually want me to help you solve a problem? Or is this, you know, one where you want me to just sort of listen and, and validate your feelings? What? Well, like, remember last month when you were, you know, you were complaining because you're like, oh, I'm having so much trouble getting out of bed in the morning. I'm so tired. And I was like, you know what you should do? You should drink more water. And then you, well, you gave me the, the look you're giving me right now. Yeah, because your advice for everything is just to drink more water. It's good advice. Not every problem is solved by drinking more water. Look, all I'm saying is sometimes it's hard for me to tell if you're asking me for help or if you're just, you know, looking for me to say like, yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Yeah, I guess that's true. So, is this one of those times? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, cool. Sorry for interrupting. Continue. Okay, well, as I was saying, I... You're having a really hard time just listening, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit, I know. Okay, fine. What's your solution You, you said you didn't want me to weigh yeah, in. Yeah, but I can tell this is killing you, so go on. What's your advice? You don't want my advice. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I really do. No, you really oh don't. My God, just say it. All right, fine, but then you can't get mad at me. I won't. You swear? Yes, I swear I won't get mad at okay, you. Okay, fine. I think you should drink more water. Boy, you made a huge mistake! Bro, I'm gonna be back at six. I'm going on a date. Wait, mom said I can come. Bro, you're not coming to my fucking date. Bro, do you want to be the bully for the, for, for the games? No, you need someone who's like more just a regular bully, not like an unhinged knife kid. <laughs> yeah, not someone who's actually going to hurt their math teacher. <laughs> the unhinged scissor kid uh, is not the I was the most the other for the rest to of the To put in context, like, like, would you like some sausage? would you like some sausages? would you like some sausage? Sausages! Sausages! Mm-hmm. Schmidt, these are such obvious rejections. I don't want to hurt their feelings. Hurt their feelings? Do you just walk around all day thinking about other people's feelings? Yeah, don't you? No. How do you get anything done? It's hard. <clears throat> Can you talk to me about your all beef diet, Jordan Peterson? I'm doing an all beef diet. <laughs> It's, it's absurd. A lot of these are hysterical women. They're absurd. They're emotional. They're emotionally hysterical. I go, make, make sure I got a lot of women as clients. I see. I'm a psychologist. And they all say, what can I do to be a better, a better woman? And I say, look at the lobsters. Look at the lobsters. Okay. I eat all meat on my diet. It's terrible. I'm violently ill. It's absurd. But? Okay. But it, it's what I am doing. For, it's what I'm doing for no reason. Uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't cleared up um, any autoimmune deficiencies you had? Absolutely or? not. <laughs> your, your snoring is still... No, I still snore <laughs> terribly. I'm still a gigantic asshole. And the all-beef diet hasn't changed that. I want to have sex with the fish. Right. <laughs> right. I want to grab the fish from the ocean, and I want to put it on my <laughs> genitals. A lot of people say, that's absurd. <laughs> Where would you... How, I'm genuinely curious. Would you put it in the mouth of the fish, or would you find another sort of orifice? What you're saying is hysterical. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And it's absurd. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, thank you. That's Do kids my... relate to the idea of I don't ever want to grow up? Did you ever want to be like I'll never grow? I never want to grow no, up. I, I love like being grown up. Yeah, well, I'll be a little Way kid better. forever. <laughs> well, great. Enjoy not being able to drive. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy not being able to drive to McDonald's and saying, "Can I get one of those birthday ice cream cakes?" No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> I just have money. Thanks. Then I'll just throw it in the ground in the parking lot and I'll leave <laughs> in front of a bunch of kids. That's right. I can do this any day I want. Any day I'm not working, obviously. Yeah, of course. I mean, you're gonna be, yeah, I mean, you're gonna, I'm going to go to work a lot. I'm going go, to work at a bank and I hate it. I mean, we talked about but this. I do get to do violets on ice cream cakes. <laughs> so...